Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Uh, do a little change of scenery today. Uh, I'm out in the gym, so I'm about to get a workout in um, since the day is technically over. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Hope everybody's ready for their uh, much deserved day off tomorrow. Tomorrow is um, a holiday, so that's why we did not give you guys any, um, any extra assignments this week. Um, parents, I will be working tomorrow, but I will not be responding to emails and things like that. I'll get back to you guys um, at some point over the weekend or um, next week. But I'm going to try to enjoy tomorrow as a holiday as much as you guys should as well. Um, hope you have a great Easter if you celebrate that. If not, have a wonderful weekend either way. Um, be good to each other. Be kind. I don't have any new information. I think next Friday is the last day of the six weeks. So I just want you to be aware of that. Um, it will be that pass or fail system. If you've got any questions about that, shoot me an email, send it my way, and I will um, do my best to answer it. I hope everything's going well. I hope technology is working okay. I hope we're learning a little bit of something. So that's kind of that. Um, if you are a seventh grader of mine, a seventh grade student, um, something happened with Edpuzzle, and I was having a little bit of issue. It's not tracking the progress. So if you've watched the video on Monday, shoot me a um, comment in Google Classroom, shoot me an email or a mind message, just something and say, hey, I watched the video so I can give you credit for that. Um, I don't know what happened, still trying to figure that out, but just something did not um, add up correctly. So it's kind of where we're at. Um, yeah, that's really it, y'all. Um, keep it good, be nice to each other. Um, at this point in the video, if you're done, that's really all I got for the check-in. Um, I'll have some more, maybe some more details uh, on Tuesday. All right, so back to basketball now. Um, I got to go with Dirk. I mean, Dirk is arguably one of the top 20 to 25 best players of all time. He is arguably one of the top five power forwards of all time. Um, dude was just a legend. I mean, the things that he was able to do, his shots, when he came into the league, everybody thought European players were just soft and that um, they couldn't shoot. They couldn't do anything but shoot. And Dirk just kind of redefined that role. I mean, being seven foot and being able to shoot threes like no one had ever been able to do that before. Um, I'm sure somebody can fact check me and find some seven footer that could shoot, but Dirk was one of a kind. Um, his scoring, I mean, in 2006, they got cheated by the refs against the Heat. Whatever, it happens. 2011, I mean, let's think about who he was able to knock off with a pretty standard group of players. I mean, in the first round, oh man, this is going to sound terrible. I want to say it was Portland. God, I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, round two, though, they swept the Lakers. I mean, they swept a two-time defending champion, Kobe Bryant, and his Lakers, who are going for their second three-peat. Pau Gasol, Lamar Odom, Derek Fisher, Ron Artest, and they swept them for nothing. And then we went and played the Thunder. And for those of you guys that just think of James Harden as a Houston Rocket player, at one point in time, the Thunder had Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Serge Ibaka, all on one team. And we beat him. We beat him. And then we go against the Heat. And this is the first year the Heat had LeBron, Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, Mario Chalmers, Udonis Haslam, Mike Miller. I mean, they were just, they were great. They were what the Warriors are now before the Warriors. It was incredible. And we beat them too. And all because of Dirk. There was no other also on that team. Our second highest scorer, Karan Butler, was out. He got hurt. Um, in January and missed the whole rest of the season. I mean, the starting lineup, let me see if I can remember, is Jason Kidd at the one, Deshaun Stevenson, you guys don't even know who that is. Deshaun Stevenson has an Abe Lincoln tattoo on his neck, so it's Abe Lincoln's face, and then the number five, like a $5 bill across his neck. At the three, I bet we ran Sean Marion, which Sean Marion was solid, if you guys haven't seen his old stuff. Ugliest shot in the NBA, but some solid, some solid game. Dirk at the four, and then Tyson Chandler at the five. And then coming off the bench was just, I mean, we had Brian Cardinal. We had, who else am I missing? Paige Stoyakovich was on there. Like I said, Karan Butler was hurt. Um, JJ Barea. I mean, it was, it was a okay team. You guys have probably heard of a lot of them because we live in Dallas, but that's really it. All right, y'all. Hey, send me some comments. Let me know what you think on this. Be good. Um, have a wonderful weekend, y'all. And uh, I'll talk to you guys on Tuesday. Peace.